In the city of Tokyo, a guy named Yuichi Kimura looked at his son sadly. His son had been in a coma after an unknown assailant pushed his son from the top floor of the supermarket. He made up his mind to take revenge for his son by meeting the culprit on the bullet train that departed from Tokyo to Kyoto. On the train, Yuichi met an innocent-looking woman who turned out to be an assassin with a code name, The Prince. Prince was shocked to see a gun pointed at her and electrocuted him with a stun gun. The next scene showed another assassin with the code name Ladybug. He was assigned a mission to retrieve a suitcase on the train. The suitcase itself was guarded by two assassin brothers known for Tangerine and Lemon, which besides guarding the suitcase, were also assigned to escort the son of well-known Yakuza named White Death. While chatting, both of them didn't realize that the suitcase they were supposed to guard was stolen by Ladybug. Panicked, they decided to search for it separately. On another place on the train, Yuichi regained consciousness. Prince then admitted that she was the one who attempted to kill Yuichi's son. Hearing that made Yuichi mad and was about to attack her when she threatened him by saying that she had sent another man on a mission to kill Yuichi's son if he attempted to attack her. He was forced to stop his action. Prince then asked Yuichi to work with her on her mission to retrieve a white suitcase on that train. It was said that in the past, White Death was once an ordinary member of the Yakuza. One day, he led a rebellion and killed the Yakuza leader with his own hand and took the throne with him, making it the most murderous and feared Yakuza group at that time. After failing to find the suitcase everywhere on the train, Lemon and Tangerine returned to their seats. They were shocked to see that White Death's son, the person they were supposed to escort was already dead when they returned with blood dripping from his eyes all over his face. This made them even more panicked. They failed their mission to escort the suitcase and White Death's son. In the next scene, another man with the code name The Wolf was seen. He was an assassin who fell in love with a girl and married her. Sadly, on his wedding day, someone poisoned the dishes and made all the guests and his about-to-be wife die. The characteristics of their death were exactly the same as what happened to White Death's son so it could be concluded that the culprit behind both of the assassinations was the same person. Tracing the culprit, he was then led to the bullet train. When he was about to enter the train, he suddenly met Ladybug and immediately suspected him as the culprit. They fought each other until the knife that the wolf used boomeranged and penetrated his chest, causing his own death. At the next station, Ladybug rushed to get off the train because he had finished his job which was just to steal the suitcase that White Death's son brought. But when he was about to exit, he saw Lemon standing guard at the entrance door, forcing him to look for another way to get off the train. While looking for another exit, Ladybug accidentally bumped into a giant doll who suddenly tried to snatch the suitcase from him. He managed to take it back. Since he failed to get off the train at the first stop, Ladybug immediately reported it to his boss named Maria. He told Maria that he was indeed at the wolf's wedding at that time but he made sure that he was not the culprit who had poisoned the people at the party. After that, Ladybug hid the suitcase safely and went to meet Lemon. Lemon suspected him as the culprit who killed the White Death's son so they got into a fierce fight. They tried not to cause a ruckus because there were many other innocent passengers on the train. Finally, Ladybug knocked Lemon out of his consciousness. <laughs> After that, the ladybug accidentally saw a snake called the boomslang that came out of a suitcase. It was known to be very poisonous. It scared him so he left it and went away. Afraid that Tangerine might recognize his disguise, Ladybug tricked him by giving his hat and glasses to another passenger. Not long after, Tangerine got a call from White Death's subordinates saying that they would check the suitcase and White Death's son at the next stop. At the next stop, Tangerine and Lemon did not run out of ideas. Tangerine went out off the train to report everything, while Lemon stayed inside and made the sun look alive. On the other hand, Yuichi and Prince managed to find the suitcase that had been hidden by Ladybug. They also worked together to open the suitcase and put the bomb in it. At the same time, Tangerine finally succeeded in tracing Ladybug. It ended up with them having an intense fight in the train kitchen. Uh, anything sparkling? In the middle of the fight, Tangerine got a call from White Death's subordinates, saying that they would check the suitcase at the next stop. Ladybug then offered to help him out to deal with White Death's subordinates. At the next stop, 
Tangerine and Ladybug met White Death's men with a fake suitcase to convince them that everything was fine, but unfortunately, Ladybug did something very reckless. He accidentally put the right passcode to open the suitcase and discovered their disguise. White Death's men then found out that Tangerine and Lemon had failed their mission to protect the suitcase. At the next stop, Ladybug managed to kick Tangerine out of the train but Tangerine managed to get back to the train. In another place, Lemon met Prince and Yuichi inside the train. Since he was an expert at reading someone's facial expressions, he realized that the suitcase he was looking for was in their hand. Prince with her innocent face said that she was just a hostage and the suitcase was stolen by Yuichi. That made Lemon angry and immediately shot Yuichi. He then hid Yuichi's body inside the toilet with the help of Prince. When both of them tried to hide Yuichi's body, Lemon accidentally saw a pistol inside Prince's bag. Realizing that she couldn't cover her disguise anymore, Prince immediately shot Lemon and hid his body in the toilet. At the same time in another place, the previous mysterious clown was seen. Inside of it was Hornet, the assassin responsible for White Death's son's assassination and the poisoning incident that killed the wolf's wife and all the guests at the wolf's wedding party. Shortly after, Ladybug and Hornet finally met. They got into a fight. Hornet tried to inject Ladybug with poison but she got injected with the same poison too. Ladybug managed to steal the antidote and injected all of it into his body, leaving Hornet uncured. On the other hand, while Tangerine was looking for Ladybug, he instead found Lemon's and Yuichi's dead bodies. He felt so angry and determined to avenge Lemon's death. Shortly after, Tangerine met Prince. Just like what she did with Lemon, she acted innocent in front of Tangerine to trick him. Unfortunately, Tangerine saw something on Prince's back that led him to realize that Prince was Lemon's murderer. When Tangerine was about to kill Prince, Ladybug suddenly came and protected Prince. Prince's innocent appearance succeeded in tricking Ladybug who ended up killing Tangerine. At the next stop, when Ladybug was about to leave the train, Prince tried to trick Ladybug by pretending that her bag was stuck in the passenger seat. As a result, Ladybug was forced to get back to the train and join the trip to Kyoto. On the train, Ladybug and Prince met Yuichi's father, who was known as the Elder. While they were talking, Ladybug was suddenly bitten by Boomslang, the previous snake that escaped its cage. He went to the toilet and put the snake into the closet. Outside, Yuichi's father told Prince that the man she assigned to kill his grandson had been killed by his men. Hearing that, Prince was afraid so she ran away. After managing to get rid of the snake, Ladybug went back to his seat and continued the chat with the elder. The elder revealed that he had a grudge against White Death. In the past, he turned out to be one of the Yakuza's men who witnessed the massacre that was carried out by the White Death. Not only killed all the Yakuza members, but the White Death also slaughtered all of his family members. The elder ended up losing his wife. Luckily, his son, Yuichi, managed to hide and save himself. Because of that, now the elder was determined to take revenge on White Death and asked Ladybug for help to make it happen. Not long after, they found Yuichi and Lemon. Suddenly, both of them regained consciousness. It turned out that both of them were not dead. Lemon was angry when he found out that Tangerine had died. When Lemon and Yuichi were being treated, they got into an argument and blamed each other. Lemon was angry because of Tangerine's death while Yuichi got angry because Lemon was the one who shot him. Shortly after, the Elder came and stopped them. He warned them about White Death. He asked them to prepare to meet with White Death at the last stop at Kyoto. At the last stop, White Death and all his troops were prepared for the train's arrival. When the train arrived, Ladybug came out handing the suitcase and became their hostage. Inside the train, White Death finally met Prince. Prince turned out to be White Death's daughter. Sadly, White Death never considered her as his daughter. That made up her mind to take revenge and intended to kill White Death with her own hands. It was clear that beating a well-known assassin like White Death wouldn't be an easy task, especially for a girl like Prince. White Death ordered all his men to check on the train and killed the remaining passenger that was still alive. Outside, White Death revealed that he was the one who arranged for them all to meet on the bullet train. He purposely gathered all the assassins and sacrificed his own son so that they all would kill each other, just because he wanted to take his revenge on a man named Carver, an assassin that killed his wife. White Death thought that Ladybug was Carver and was about to shoot him. White Death's men then opened the suitcase causing the bomb inside to detonate and made a big explosion. That explosion threw Ladybug and White Death into the train. After the explosion, the Elder immediately attacked White Death's men inside, while Lemon was assigned to run the train. After that, Ladybug joined Lemon in the control room. They were confused because didn't know how to stop the train. 
At the same time, the Elder and White Death had finally met. The two rivals immediately fought to kill each other until finally... When White Death prepared to kill the Elder, Ladybug managed to stop the train and derailed it. In the end, White Death was shot to death by Prince and not long after, Prince died after being hit by a truck. Wait! What? I am the White Death! The film ended by showing Ladybug, Yuichi, and the Elder who survived the incident. Ladybug was then saved by Maria. Mm, nice car. Yes, it is. Unexpectedly, the one who drove the truck and hit Prince was Lemon, who also managed to survive.